Hi everyone, you're watching Globe 10.0. I'm Kevin DuPont, my man Chad Finn. Chad, Celtics game two tonight in Orlando, looking to continue their playoff run. Uh, brings us to Ray Allen. Uh, Ray Allen's going to be free agent at the end of this year. 19.7 million this year. Came here with a three-year deal worth around 52 million. What do they do here? Wait, do, do, do they keep him? Do they go out and look elsewhere? Do they take uh, take some cap relief? I think they do keep him. Uh, they can't sign another guy. They can't go get, say, a Joe Johnson or one of the second-tier kind of free agents. Allen has said all season long that he wants to be back here and he knows he's not going to make close to the money he made last year, which is pretty good admission from an NBA superstar. Right. He's, he's so realistic about it. And, and do you and you believe him? I do believe him, yeah. He seems a pretty forthright kind of guy. And the other thing is shooting guards tend to fall apart early or quickly in their early 30s, but Allen might be the exception because he's in such good condition. He ta he, he so, uh, works so hard on his game. He's methodical about it. Well, I, I think he may be the guy that you give that extra couple years. To. And here into game two, he's averaging 18 points a game, 37 minutes, certainly durable, plays to your point that he's, that he's held up okay. So it becomes a factor then in your mind of where do they dial him in financially on, a, well, right. on what, a two or three year deal? That makes the most sense, yeah. I, I, Which would put him out to 37, 38 years old. Yeah. And, and then is he going to take 50 cents on the buck, I guess? Uh, it might be less than 50 cents. If, if he's making 19.7, uh, I think you're in that 8 or $9 million range with him. But uh, you do it. Uh, there's such, such good chemistry with the, the uh, big three, which has become the big four. Uh, he's a great percentage player, even now. I mean, he's had the two highest shooting percentages of his career, two of the highest three the last couple of years. Who else would you want at the free throw line on, on Sunday than Ray yep. Allen? Not yep. anybody in the NBA. So there's still a lot to like about him, even at his advanced age. Okay, so on the macro picture, they keep him for, let's say they keep him for two years. Anybody who can grow into the role? Uh, not right now, although uh, Tony Allen has become the player he was before he blew his knee out. He's been fantastic. He's been tremendous. He has, yeah. and uh, I think he's probably going to have an uh, extended role in his team if he's back. I mean, he's got free agency coming up, too, but uh, there's no kid to replace Ray Allen. Ray Allen's a pretty hard guy to replace. He has been everything. I mean, everything he was at UConn, which is a long, long time ago, <laughs> right? And everything they, th they thought he'd be here when they brought him in to really fill out the, fill out the championship picture. So, Ray Allen, uh, one year left, or... or yeah. Only weeks left, we don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll see what, Ray, what, what summer brings for Ray Allen.